welcome back to my channel today video as i promised i will do um a video talking about this a uh, lovely application right there it's called a super display um <clears throat> as short uh, i think there are a few videos a few youtubers uh, already make a video talking about this apps already so but uh, i really like this i will talk about this right now so click to the app and connect it via Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I already set up everything, and it's already um, connected with my um, connected with my uh, laptop. But let me um, go through a little bit. So if you have a laptop, you have to um, first you download the app. This app cost about uh, fourteen dollars or so. At the time I buy this, I don't know if they. Um, change uh, the price uh, or not uh, there's a lot of the updates current um currently so um yeah so for info first so i have this app already uh bought it to so see the um the report uh, application if you um want to try out this i think they have the three days uh, trial uh when you first download the app and then you have to pay a uh, 14 dollars to continue using it afterward so yeah this is about the app and we have the setting um oops oh sorry uh, i would like to go to the setting so the setting we have the orientation uh, is normally landscape because we would love to use this app on your uh, with your tablet which is obviously going to be landscape mode um paint type uh, uh you can just use this with your finger touch or you can um use your stylus on uh, your s pen um etc um for any kind of drawing the one thing uh, that's really interesting about this app that set off this outstanding from all other um remote display apps is is support pain it supports stylus and they have kind of pressure sensitivity i would say um so yeah so toggle mode uh connect uh ultimately and this other um and this other um change if you want to make and then the pin button function uh normally i will set it at um right click this is a default set i'm going to click it that much if you i want to change it so there's this option so um there's an option for you to set uh so you can set it at control alt uh, and shift and then uh yeah that's just right click there's no other uh, function i really know about that and then there are two options for you to connect to your uh, laptop uh, one is via wi-fi and one you can connect it with your um cord which is not wireless uh, you have to uh, connect it with your usb-c uh, cord and then connect with your laptop uh, i think the uh, playback will um considerably um shorter uh, than if you connect it via Wi-Fi but I find with either so there's an option and if you want to um, you can check it out there's three days trial before actually purchasing them so yeah you can try it out definitely and connect it via Wi-Fi uh, so it's pretty quick uh, setup I would say I would say so as you can see this in my desktop screen um, currently I mean um, um, I don't know if you can see my my laptop okay let me show you my laptop so this is uh, my laptop that a little bit of uh, flicking uh, i don't know why it's maybe because of my phone but yeah this is my laptop and um as you can see um they already connected with the um the tablet and uh, as you click to this and go to the project mode as you click to this and go to the project mode you can see you can extend a screen a second screen only uh, duplicate the screen on uh, pc only something so yeah okay also yeah so this is my laptop and i connected a vr wi-fi so that would be a little bit of a playback so let me show you we can actually run um i will okay i will set up as a the second screen if you set up the project uh, as duplicate so okay so this is my screen if you set up the tablet at duplicate it will actually copy the resolution of your um of your computer and you can see that is a kind of looking a little bit awkward uh and the resolution looking pretty bad so normally if i chose to use 
um, my uh, tablet only uh, I would just use you know either expand or second screen only so as you can see a lot of difference and it look uh, more sharp and it look more I don't know quality yeah so any app uh, that you want to use for example I would say I will open um, the clip studio um, paint that I normally use for drawing in this app if you can say I also have the uh, planner the um, Photoshop some things like that so let's open my clip studio okay, um, do text few minutes to run so yeah it's already open um, I would say the playback uh, of, um, kind of a little bit seem too impossible to draw but if you connect it with the card if you connect it with the USB-C uh, and then to your laptop it will definitely look, uh, work uh, much more better so as you can see there's a little bit of playback there but definitely not some kind of like um, impossible to draw they also are able to you know like tap double tap for redo and um, double tap for undo your action they also have as you can say then pressure sensitivity so the s band that i'm uh, have right there uh, click to the side button as you um see uh, previously i set the side button to um right click um and then when you set it to right click go to uh as i remember modify the key settings and uh scroll down a little bit when they say scry right click right there uh click to change to temporarily and go to setting and set it as eraser so if you set like that you would be able to use this as a re eraser yeah so yeah definitely um so just right click and uh, make sure to change um the uh, shortcut key and then you would you would be able to use this However, it's open now. Uh, we have to wait if load. So yeah. Um, so I will open this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm. So I create a new one. So you can see I have all the function available for me. There's nothing. Um, yeah. It's a pretty uh, interesting uh, app that you can uh, either make it at a second screen or use it completely separate. Um, from you can use as the Wi-Fi and you can bring your tablet uh, if you have you know if you connect via Wi-Fi you can bring the tablet to another room which are bringing the whole laptop which is quite convenient in my opinion so uh, let's for example I choose a black color um, I will change the pin I have a lot of pen right there so go with the sketch press uh, I suppose it's a kind of a pencil and also use the key uh, the key um, keyboard um, on my laptop to um, shortcut as you see uh, it does quite lay back uh, playback are quite like this uh, it also have the pressure sensitivity uh, as you can see right there it looks pretty nice in it um, and I don't think yeah I don't think the um, the eraser work the, the eraser for the pen work in this uh, tablet either but if you use this um, obviously it's gonna be uh, uh, right click right there but then if you go to the setting and then i think if you modify the shortcut a little bit then you will be able to use the side button as an eraser like normal um one of the things i would like to say if you don't have your keyboard just next to you maybe you bring this to another room at the set and you don't bring your keyboard along um this is a, a app uh, of course download on your um laptop uh this is um as I remember correctly, so this is the uh, let's see, uh, I'm, I forget the uh, real name of the apps. So uh, let's see. setting. Oh, so okay. So this app is actually the Tablet Pro. Uh, okay, so this is the Tablet Pro, a touch mouse pointer component. I um, so I uh, I discovered a few uh, months ago. I think it's happening. Um, I, I discovered uh, like a year ago, and it's like a side button for your uh, tablet. So if you use your um, your tablet or your computer or your laptop to draw, and you don't have the um, the keyboard like separately, uh, and you know like. If you work in a space like this, you don't have the keyboard, but you would like to um, do some shortcut. 
just click there and they have a lot of shortcut right there and you can also manually um change it uh you know there's a lot of setting um um laid out and you can edit it they also have some um you know really advanced stuff uh it's free um not completely free if you want to have more advanced function you definitely have to pay for it but uh over is free and for some quite like um minimal uh, editing like this is is really convenient is my opinion and you can also change it it can be a sidebar or it can be some kind of a pop-up uh, on the screen as well so this is the setup um uh, it does take a few minutes to open the app uh, i don't really use this um edible shoot uh quite regularly um, because I'm, I'm stopped drawing a lot right now because I have college, I have to work and my major in college definitely not um, any kind of drawing designing related so um, it's actually it's pretty fun in my opinion but it's not it have nothing to do with um, drawing um, designing so I have to set my happy aside and I'm doing my uh, school works first so this is illustrating as I suppose that it will work normally and you can you know it just work like um your uh, any of your drawing um i would say so yeah you can definitely work as if this is your completely your computer so what a best set uh, for this i think um, using this apps as a second display is would be more um convenient uh, because you will have two screens working at the same time you don't have to buy a separate display and over more this e uh have pressure sensitivity uh this have um this is really small really convenient and you just have to pay it one time if i remember uh it right if you use a uh, Apple or an iPad, you have to pay actually monthly to get access to a similar app like this on Apple. So yeah, a one-time payment I don't think is um it's too much. Uh, it's only fourteen dollars, and it can replace a whole display, a whole monitor. It's like uh, a Wacom one. So yeah, uh, yeah, this is really uh, interesting. I would say if you draw a lot, uh, yeah. So I think you definitely want to um have this app and you can see I can just work like normal with the illustrator with the um with the app, um with the clip studio and with the um photoshop so yeah so this is my pre review for the separate display uh I only have this on, on my uh, tablet right now um so yeah I have also have blender uh if you don't know blender is like uh, an app for um, so I also have Blender and if you don't know, Blender is a 3D uh, modeling rendering app. Uh, I don't, I'm don't, not gonna get um, too deep into that. So yeah, I also have a lot. You can open any desktop um, apps uh, on this um, super display uh, thing. And it will um, quickly, like just another second monitor. Uh, but they have Plista, if you have the pain, you have pressure, uh, pressure sensitivity, you have everything, it's like a Wacom one. Uh, yeah, so this is my preview for the app, uh, thank you for listening, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye bye!